Everyone has heard the adage, oil and water don't mix. Engine oil and coolant fall under the same category. When these two fluids are forced to mix, a big mess is created because they don't mix well. You might be curious as to how exactly oil and coolant can come into contact with one another during routine operation. In actuality, they can't when everything is working as it should. Every instance of oil and coolant mixing inside an engine is the result of some sort of mechanical failure. This mixing produces a milky sludge that is milky in color and insanely difficult to get rid of, and even more difficult to forget. In this short video, we will talk about causes coolant mixed in oil, and what to do next in such scenario. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. What can happen if coolant gets in your oil? Any kind of oil contamination needs to be handled right away. When the contaminant in question is able to thin out the oil into which it has leaked, the situation gets even worse. Every time coolant gets into engine oil, this precise scenario is presented. Oil's viscosity is essentially reduced as it is diluted. Due to this loss in viscosity, engine oil is unable to lubricate and safeguard an engine's essential parts the same way it once could. This can then result in severe lifter damage, undue valve train stress, and critical bearing fatigue and failure. It is neither simple nor inexpensive to fix any of these problems. Possible Causes of Coolant in Oil Coolant can enter an engine's lubricating oil in a number of different ways, and identifying each one requires a careful diagnosis. You can speed up the process of diagnosing the current problem by being aware of these possible causes. Here are a few of the most typical reasons why engine oil becomes contaminated with coolant. Number 1. Leaking Head Gasket At the junction of an engine's block and cylinder head, head gasket is used to keep coolant and oil from mixing. When this gasket is damaged, it can no longer stop the fluids from mixing, opening a way for coolant to get into the lubricating oil of an engine. Number 2. Cracked Engine Block or Cylinder Head A cracked engine block or cylinder head loses the ability to keep lubricating oil and coolant apart, similar to a leaking head gasket. Cross-contamination is then a possibility as a result of this. Overheating is the primary cause of failures of this kind. Number 3. Compromised Oil Cooler An oil cooler is a specialized heat exchanger used by some engines. This cooler permits the flow of both coolant and oil, but only through separate passages. However, these liquids are frequently allowed to come into contact with one another when an oil cooler internal failure occurs. Number 4. Accidentally Poured Coolant Into Oil Fill while some might laugh at the idea, it happens far more frequently than one might be inclined to think when coolant is inadvertently poured into engines. However, if discovered right away, this is a relatively easy problem to fix. Coolant in oil versus oil in coolant. There are two different ways that coolant and oil can contaminate one another. An otherwise closed cooling system can allow oil into it, or the lubricating oil of an engine can allow coolant into it. While neither situation is ideal, each has a specific set of problems that must be resolved right away to prevent further engine damage. Sludge starts to form when oil enters an engine's cooling system, frequently reducing the flow of coolant throughout the system. As a result, there may be rapid overheating and potential gasket and seal deterioration. But because of a loss in overall viscosity, coolant-contaminated oil quickly loses a significant portion of its value as a crucial lubricant. This viscosity loss can quickly cause damage to the valve train, lifters, and bearings, all of which are notoriously expensive and labor-intensive to fix. What to do? As coolant condenses in the vehicle's coolant overflow reservoir or surge tank, you should first check the engine's coolant level if you have any reason to suspect that the lubricating oil in your engine has gotten contaminated with coolant. Further diagnosis will be necessary if this trash can seems to be relatively low. A cooling system pressure test is strongly advised at this point in order to identify the exact location of the leak. Not driving a car with coolant contaminated oil on purpose is another important point to make. All oil should be drained into a drain pan before fresh oil is added to the engine if a vehicle needs to be driven more than a few miles to a repair facility. While not a long-term fix, this will stop the short-term breakdown of bearings and other crucial parts cost to fix. On a case-by-case -case basis, the precise cost needed to fix an engine that is letting coolant into its supply of engine oil varies. This price varies according to the exact cause of the failure as well as the make and model of the vehicle in question. In general, replacing the head gasket on an engine should cost between $1,500 and $2,000 while replacing a cracked cylinder head can easily cost more than $2,000 in total. However, if a cracked engine block turns out to be the cause of your oil's coolant contamination, complete engine replacement will typically be necessary. 
This could end up costing $5,000. The cost of replacing a damaged oil cooler is on the lower end of this range. Typically, one should budget between $500 and $700 for such repairs, with the majority of that amount going toward the purchase of parts. Fortunately, labor costs for these repairs typically aren't too high.